Revenant was completely reworked in Season 18 of Apex Legends, so let's talk about the changes. Uh, his class changed from Assault to Skirmisher, so he can no longer access weapon supply bins and carry additional ammo, but he's gained the ability to reveal the highest uh, value item in a care package. His passive is interesting because he keeps his old passive, which is faster crouch walking and increased climbing abilities, but also gains Assassin's Instinct, which now highlights visible enemies when they're at low health. Uh, his tactical... Uh, it has been completely replaced with Shadow Pounce. Um, he used to have Silence. Shadow Pounce lets you launch forward a uh, similar distance to an Octane Jump Pad, but a little bit shorter. The interesting part is it can also be comboed with a Jump Pad, so you can essentially get a triple jump off of this. You can move huge distances now. His ultimate has completely been replaced as well. His totem is gone, and now he has Forge Shadows. Forge Shadows gives Revenant an extra 75 HP and it can regenerate as he gets Nox. This is versus Fortified Legends, which are Gibraltar, Newcastle, and uh, Caustic. The Fortified perk reduces incoming damage by 15% on those Legends. So let's compare that to Revenant's uh, ultimate. The Revenant's ultimate's actually pretty strong. Uh, you can see fighting a uh, white shielded Revenant with his ultimate active is uh, very similar to fighting a purple shield fortified legend. Also, when Revenant gets to red shield, it's insane. He's got 300 HP. So look out for Revenant out there. If you see him ulted, think twice uh, before pushing him. I'm still on the fence with the changes to his tactical, but his ultimate seems really strong. Let me know what you think in the comments. So big changes on the cooldowns. Uh, biggest one's coming to uh, Bangalore and Pathfinder. Uh, Bangalore's Rolling Thunder goes to four minutes. Zipline Gun goes to three minutes on the cooldown. Uh, Horizon Catalyst, Loba, and Mad Maggie all also received nerfs. Gibraltar's the big winner here. Three minute cooldown, so this is 90 seconds less. Uh, and Wraith can also uh, rift faster, so now it's three minutes down to uh, 30 seconds. Then we got a few changes to pay attention to on Sears Tactical. Uh, so this is the cylinder of micro drones he deploys in front of him. Uh, the slow duration has been completely nerfed uh, down two seconds to just a half a second. Uh, this is the amount of time enemies hit by your tactical have reduced movement speed uh, with their health bars revealed to the entire squad. Also, silence duration was reduced to eight seconds, so that's a two second reduction. Silence, if you uh, don't remember, it prevents enemy squads from using their abilities and highlights them for teammates um, if they have line of sight on the, on them. Then there's just a few small changes to Loba. Aside from her ultimate cooldown changes that we mentioned before, uh, her, tag, her bracelet cooldown has been reduced by 5 seconds to 25 seconds, so you can toss that bracelet around a little bit faster. And Loba specifically got the ultimate accelerant buff going to 25% instead of 20%. The interesting thing though is in game when I'm Loba and I hover over the ultimate accelerant, it's still saying 20% ultimate energy for Loba. So I don't know if this is a bug or not. She should be getting 25% uh, on her ultimate accelerants. Let's see what this takes her to. Yep, so she's getting 25%. Uh, there's a bug in the display here. It's still saying it restores 20% but Loba does get 25% on the ultimate accelerants now. So those are all the legend specific changes coming this season. Let me know if you have any questions or what you think in the comments.